up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new i am about to head to the gym it's 9 30 a.m i actually just had to take this morning and just get stuff done around the house so i didn't rush to the gym i actually ate breakfast before i went to the gym this morning which it's kind of nice to switch it up do a quick little outfit of the day before i head out so this is an old lululemon sports bra that they don't make anymore i really wish they did and i can't even think of the name of it um, but i love it because it has like this mesh detail and then like it has an open back sort of. I'm just wearing my Gymshark leggings. I wanted to wear my new sports bra. I got it in a medium, but it was like honestly way too tight. So I decided I'm gonna send it back and get a large um, in that sports bra that I shared in my last vlog. So unfortunately it was too small, which I just was like between a medium and large because I'm small around here, but like my cup size is a large. So I always like run into that in between sizing problem. But anyway, I'm wearing my Vital Seamless leggings and then my Adidas and MDR. And then this is the Lululemon Define jacket in like this gray color. And I just have it tied around my waist. I'm about to make my new BCAA drink in the Rocket Pop flavor. So I will let you guys know how this tastes. We'll do a little taste test. Okay, I just parked at the gym and the trash men almost saw me frantically running down the driveway because I swear Chad told me to take the trash out this morning. Like today was trash day, but today's recycling day, tomorrow's trash day. So when I heard the trash truck, I like opened up the garage and like ran outside frantically because it's so something for me to do, just like forget about trash day and never get the trash out. And so I went outside and I was like, what the heck? They're taking the recycling, why is the recycling out there? And then I realized he was telling me to take it out for tomorrow because he's working overtime tomorrow. Anyway, I'm losing my mind today. But I'm going to do a quick taste test of this before I go in so you guys can hear my thoughts if anyone cares. Okay, I definitely like sour gummy better, but this is very good. It tastes exactly like a Rocket Pop. Like childhood memories just coming back in this drink. <laughs> Just finished my workout and whew, that was tough today, I'm not gonna lie. Back, shoulders, just upper body and then I did a little bit of core at the end and I'll show you guys my stats. 369 total calories, my workout was an hour and four minutes long and my average heart rate was 128 with a high of 165. So 
not bad at all. I am so proud of myself. I can't wait to go home though. Okay, well I have showered and I put some makeup on. I curled my hair, feeling ready for the day. I even just made myself a hazelnut coffee with my new hazelnut creamer. And that was the greatest idea ever. I forgot how much I miss the hazelnut. So good. But I really quick wanna thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video, you guys. I worked with them a while back and I can't believe that they wanted to work with me again. I literally love my Cricut machine so much. I make so many cool projects with it and I swear to you, it is the easiest thing in the world to use. So if you've been around for a while, you're probably already familiar with what Cricut is because I've talked about them a few times before in my vlogs. But if you're new here and you're not familiar with Cricut, they're a brand that creates these amazing machines that can cut so many different materials and they're so easy to use. They're really cool because they're just perfect if you're someone who likes to do little DIY projects but you don't know what you're doing. You don't have to be super crafty to use these. I'm going to show you guys a really fun project you can do at home today using your Cricut Joy. The Cricut Joy has quickly become my favorite for so many different reasons. One of the reasons just being its size and how much you can do with it. You can make labels for around the house, stickers for your business or just for fun. You can also cut vinyl. And one of my other favorite things to use the Cricut for is their Smart Iron-On. You can make t-shirts tote bags, hats, and all you have to do is iron it on. It's such a great way to make personalized gifts. For today's Cricut project, I'm gonna be using the Smart Vinyl to make a little decal on this container that I got from Target. It's like a tin container and it has this wood lid. So cute. I'm gonna be using this to store Trooper and Stetson's dog treats. So I thought it'd be really cute to personalize this a little bit and just make it say dog treats. And I'm gonna look on the Cricut design space and see if I can find a cute little icon, maybe a dog bone or a paw print, something like that. And then we'll have this cute little container to store all of their little bags of different dog treats. And that's gonna look so much better than them just stacked up on top of our water cooler, which is where they're at right now. So the first thing I'm doing is taking measurements of the storage container to make sure that when I go to create the vinyl, I'm not making it too big or too small. And now I'm just entering the text that I wanna use in the design space. I absolutely love the design space. It's so easy to use and they have so many different fonts images and free icons you can pretty much search whatever you want and if you're ever just in a creative rut and you don't know what to make you can go on the design space and i promise you will get some ideas just from being on there So now I'm just prepping the vinyl. I went ahead and measured it and then I cut it. Now I'm loading it into the Cricut and the Cricut pretty much does the rest. It's so crazy to me how many different things this little machine can cut. You can do vinyl, cardstock, iron-on, paper, even things you probably already own like construction paper. This next part is what Cricut calls weeding and it's basically when you use this little needle tool to peel off the excess vinyl. So the first part is easy and then you have to go in and be a little more intricate about getting the inner parts of each of the letters and if you did shapes or depending on the type of decal, it might get a little bit more involved, but this one wasn't too bad. Now I'm using the Cricut transfer paper, which makes my life so easy because all I have to do is press it down with this little tool and then transfer it over to the storage container. And that is pretty much it guys. When I tell you it is so easy to make cool little projects for around your house. You can also use it as a label machine. I mean, there are so many things you can do with it, especially around the holidays. It's really fun to make people personalized gifts. That's one of my favorite things to use the Cricut for. And then me being a small business owner, it really comes in handy for stuff with that as well. So I wanna thank Cricut again for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys learned something from my little project. Maybe you guys will wanna try it. And if you guys wanna check out my favorite Cricut machine, which is the Cricut Joy. I will have it linked in the description as well as the materials that I used for this project. All right, guys, it's now lunchtime and I've just eaten my body weight in chips and hummus and I'm like so mad at myself. <laughs> now I'm not going to end up eating lunch. I hate when I do this. I was just like feeling hungry and I didn't really look at the time. I was like, I'm going to have a snack. So I decided to get the chips and hummus out and then I was just scrolling on my phone and then I realized I like ate half this bag of chips and now I'm not even hungry for lunch.
why am I this way? Okay, so I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru about to grab my matcha latte. I've been like back on my matcha grind lately. I feel like I go through these spouts where I'm just drinking matcha all the time and then I get really sick of it and then I don't drink it again for like months and then I go back to it and it's just like this never-ending cycle but here we are I'm getting my matcha latte and now that they have oat milk I decide to get it with oat milk instead of almond and I think it's gonna taste so much better like that I have to get supplies at Target to make Chad's mom an Easter basket because every year she makes all of us an Easter basket I know you're thinking like Wait, you're like a grown adult and you still get an Easter basket? Yes, I do, and I love it, and I look forward to it every year. She makes us the cutest Easter baskets with like our favorite candy, and there's always like some little extra things in there. So for the last several years, I've been making her one too because she just like goes out of her way to make all of us kids a basket, and so I always like to make her one too, so I have to go get the stuff for that. So I'm gonna go to Target for that, and then I was gonna swing by the nail salon either before or after all of that and get my nails done because we have this broken nail here. Got my matcha latte and it's delicious, but my unfortunate news is that it looks like I'm going another day with my broken nail because I just ran into the nail salon. Well, I actually called them first. I always call and try to make an appointment for that day, but they didn't answer. And that was this morning. So I just decided, well, I'm already out. I'm just gonna run in there. Maybe they'll be able to do them now. Maybe he'll tell me like 30 minutes or an hour and I'll go do my errands and then come back. But he said they're like completely booked today. So he couldn't take me until tomorrow. And I would just go to a different nail salon, but I've established such a relationship with this guy and he does my nails so good that I can't go anywhere else now because he gives me a hard time. <laughs> and also because they just don't do as good of a job. So I'm just gonna have to wait until tomorrow. So we're gonna have my broken nail one more day. Just got out of Bath and Body Works and I just picked up some of these concentrated room sprays. I freaking love these and they're on sale today and I saw it in my email. They're amazing to spray in your house like after you just finished cleaning. I swear it just like smells so good. And then I also just got a bunch of hand sanitizers so I always like to throw those in with any gift that I give to Chad's mom. She loves them, so I'm gonna put those in her Easter basket. I'm back home, and while I was at Target, I picked up all of the stuff to make some Easter desserts for the Sunday. And you guys, I am making the cutest freaking cupcakes ever. So Funfetti cupcakes are my favorite, so I tend to make them a lot, but I like to like change them up a little bit for like the holiday that I'm making them for. So I got some little food colorings, and these are actually like really pretty pastel colors, just like perfect for Easter. So I'm gonna do Funfetti cupcakes with this light green icing and then I'm going to put robin eggs on top because how cute will that be? And I have this icing decorating kit thing so it'll make the icing like come out really pretty. And then I'm gonna roll it in like these little sprinkles like on the outside so it kind of looks like a nest and then put the eggs inside. Got the idea off Pinterest, it was really cute. And then I also got this sugar hookie mix because I have my own really good sugar hookie recipe but I did not feel like buying all the ingredients for that. I know that like I don't have a lot of the basics or it's probably expired. So I just decided to get some Betty Crocker sugar hookie mix, super easy. And then I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna use food coloring and dye it. And then I'm gonna like half dip the cookies and do some like Easter sprinkles. I'm just really feeling festive. And then I even found these cute little cupcake tins. So I'm excited, I was very successful at Target and I didn't even buy anything I didn't need. I ordered a couple of things from Target and they came in. I wanna show you guys. This is just like some cute little things to decorate my office as well as use for props when I'm shooting stuff for the business. So the first thing is this Pillow Fort Rattan Pineapple Mirror. How freaking cute is this? I actually saw this online from like a blogger and then I went to my Target and I couldn't find it so I ordered it online and it is so cute. It's actually bigger than I was expecting. And then the other thing that I got is this really cute little rainbow also by the Pillow Fort brand. Oh, Trooper thinks it's a toy for him. No, that's not for you. I just thought this was so cute for like spring, summertime, and I just had to get it. I actually found where this was supposed to be in my Target and it wasn't there because it was sold out. Well, it's way later now. I have no idea where the day went, but I'm about to cook dinner. So I'll show you guys what I'm making. I'm gonna make some cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I've only had this one other time and it was forever ago. So I'm very excited that Chad and I recently went to Trader Joe's and got some of this. Finish eating dinner and now Trooper and I are about to snuggle up on the couch and watch some Netflix 
just chill out for the rest of the night. And I'm going to take pictures tomorrow with Natalia, so I have to wake up super early to plan out some outfits because I did not do that tonight and I don't feel like doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.